Previously, when I shot into a can full of ice, the tin board slightly, it split, and the effect this time was nowhere near as dramatic. This is the Bismag, Bisley Magnum. You can see that it mushroomed out, increased the width, shortened in length slightly. That penetrated the best. It gave the biggest bulge, although it was still only a slight one. And any split in the tin, the Bisley Magnum, it gave the biggest split. But even the Daystate and the JSB dome pellet, they gave more or less the same effect. The worst one was the destroyer. The advantage to look at it is the hollow point and I've seen and shown that this strips away to reveal a point. In this case this penetrated the least. The hollow point outer ring it was stripped off has been seen before. There's virtually no length to it. The diameter didn't increase the weight obviously is reduced an advantage of the point in the middle just become non-existent it became virtually a flathead it penetrated the least it appeared to give the least shock so I'm disappointed with the results with this one I've done a short range one with ice before in a tin and like other materials if you alter the range, the findings that you get, the test results, they do alter. So today's winner, definitely the Bismag for penetration and how I could term shock value. And the worst performer by a long way is the destroyer. How it can be called a destroyer I don't know, it just simply doesn't live up to its name.